Welcome back to Lurar Gaming and another episode of Return of the Oberdin. We have changed the monitor look to the IBM 5151 and I must say it doesn't look very good. But uh, we just said uh, we said we would do it, so we're doing it. Let's have a look at this guy then. Previously, we've got the captain identified, or so we think. This being the captain. <sighs> Thing is, he's probably not the captain, right? He's probably posing as the captain. So we've got the captain, Robert Wittrell. Uh, this is the guy we saw in the previous memory, jumping down on the from the railing with... Ah, here we go. Dagger. Dagger in his mouth. So, is he less blurred? He's still pretty damn blurred. So we don't know who he is. Um, we could check out the book, right? The first couple of pages, they said. Pages two to three. Uh, the crew. Crew manifest. Life at sea. Got this guy. We don't really know who they are. Right? So we'll just have to uh, see, figure stuff out. There's no description here, right? Fate is unknown yet, yes. And uh, the other people, the dead people, we haven't been able to identify yet. So we've got rank up top, name. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, it's not unknown though. It's. Uh, Hold on. E-S. 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 Who's E-S? Edward Spratt is an artist. So that must be him. Edward Spratt, the artist, signing. Which means he will not be appearing in these uh, pictures. Because he made them. Right. Let's go back to the, uh, the scene then. Hello, Captain. Presumably. Captain Robert Wittrell. So, Captain Robert Wittrell is hitting this dude on the head with a, a harpoon? Bludgeoned to death by uh, Captain Wittrell. This guy. Right now we're fading out. So we. <laughs> We don't really understand it because we can go back to the memory whenever we want to and stay in the memory as long as we want to. I don't know, maybe it's just to force us to uh, to pace us forward. Who is this and how do, how did they die? Well, we don't know who it is, but they were clubbed, I guess. They weren't electrocuted, nor were they exploded. Uh, struck. Right, not by... Any such thing. They were not spiked or speared. They were clubbed. Clubbed by the captain, or whom we presume is the captain. <laughs> Just bookmark all the memories. Guess it's a good idea to bookmark the memories that we uh, that w that that have have details that are still unclear, right? So let's have a look outside again. See if. Uh, if any other people are appearing. So we got this guy. That's the same guy. That's, but wait, why is he in here? Oh yeah, it's it's that guy. He got knifed. And then over here is the guy who stands next to the captain in the photo. He got shot with a gun by the captain, presumably. Okay, do we have anyone else lingering in the shadows? It appears not. So I think we should just get back, back to reality, as it were, and uh, see what else we can find out. Right, these people are still unidentified. Any people are back? No? No one's jumped overboard? Not dragging behind? Okay. 
There's another dead body. All right, let's check him out. Abigail. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. Okay. I'll be with you soon, my love. So this person shot Abigail's brother. Please forgive me. And then killed themselves? For everything. Yes. Okay. Who are you? Ah! It's Captain. Hello, Captain. You appear to have shot yourself. And you... Shot Abigail's brother. That means that the guy lying out here might be Abigail's brother. Right? Yet I unidentified? I really like this music. Okay. Uh, captain's in here. Who's this? Hello. Unknown. Are you Abigail? It could be. Abigail. Is Abigail even on board? Yes, she is. Witchroll. So, related. I mean... Makes sense. I'll just assume for now. But this is Abigail. Makes no sense why she wouldn't be... As she's this close to the captain's quarters. Maybe the cap captain's wife? Alright. Here we go. Inscription inside the captain's quarters. Location of the corpse. Captain Robert Whittrell did not meet an unknown fate. He shot himself in the face. Let's see, suicide. By gun. Captain Robert Whittrell shot himself. This may or may not be correct. I mean, it could be a completely different person. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Right. Three people and their fates. Abigail. Your brother, my friend, I shot him. Dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. No one else was present. Because they were all dead. Well, Abigail was present. Wasn't she? It's her, right? This one? Alright. Let's go back to the scene. Have a look. Aren't you Abigail? I see, there she is. No one else was present, they say. Abigail Hoskett Whittrell. Hoskett. That means... That this person could be. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Are they uh, still not blurred? No, they're very clear now. This unknown soul, soul. William Hoskett, first mate. I, I don't see why it wouldn't be. There we go. William Hoskett, the first mate, was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Whittrell. Because he says that. He shot Abigail's brother, and Abigail's middle name is Hoskett, and it's his wife, etc. So we figure stuff out, right? I hope. Making all the wrong assumptions. Um, this guy though. Don't really see why everyone's attacking the captain right here. Uh, but I guess this guy is still also blurred. Yeah. And when they're clear, they're very clear, right? This guy. This unknown soul was clubbed by Captain Robert Whittrell. Okay, no one else was around. Does that mean that Abigail's already dead in in that memory? Who's to say? All right. What's happening now? There you go, we... Got four X's for some reason. What? 
four deaths, I guess. Four people died here. I don't see the meaning of this. What does that mean? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. What do the X's mean, though? Are they correct? Are they incorrect? We'll figure that out later on. For now, that's the captain. And here we've got Abigail then, I guess. Martin. Yeah. So she sounds Scottish. Wait, someone... Okay, so she was already dead. That's why... That's why. So she died... Whoa, from a tentacle monster. Oh, that's cool. Ha ha ha, the Kraken fucking killed her. Wow. That's really cool. Okay, so we've got Abigail. Hey, Abigail. We know who you are. Uh, you were killed by a monster. Now, who are you? Hello? You also seem to be some kind of officer. Alright. Uh, this person... Who are you? Okay. Interesting. And you there? Seem to be some sort of dex hand. Anyone else? Here's... Whoa, someone's been cutting in half over here. Okay. And now it's time for us to start doing stuff. <laughs> Still don't really understand the time limitation. Why it's there. But I guess it's for pacing. The Doom. Alright. Chapter 7. Okay then. This is... This is... I like this a lot. Okay, the corpse was moved post-mortem. We've deduced that much already. Ten others were present. Martin. Martin, where's the captain? Have you lost your mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. He's below deck. Uh, Abigail Hoskett Wittrell. Well then. <laughs> Is she crushed? I guess by the beast? Crushed by beast? Sure. Crushed by a terrible beast. There we go. Three fates correct. Doing well so far. First mate. Shot by the captain. And the captain shot himself. There we go. We did stuff! <gasps> nice! I feel, uh, feel accomplished. So thank you so much for watching this accomplished episode of Lobra Gaming and Return of the Overdin. If you like this video, there's tons of other stuff for you to check out on our channel. And while you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon. And leave a comment under this video and tell me what you think about the game. Join our Discord channel. Talk to me about anything. I'm so lonely.